Greetings all, Frog here, Let's Play GeoGuessr. We have today the knockout round of the World Cup of GeoGuessr. We have made it. We're the number 12 seed overall, but you know what? The number 12 seed can win it all if we put in a good performance. What is our map today? It is a Finnish map. We are playing nothing but Finland, which means there is not much room for error. I think we'll be okay. I already know what Wurdok scored. That's who we're facing. Of course, the French wonder Wurdok, who is um, pretty good at this game. Well, he's the number five seed after the group stages, so you know he's no slouch. Uh, he left us eight points. Okay, 24, 9, 92. So if we miss any round by more than eight points, we're goners. I've been studying up on how the finish roads work. I know one through seven are around, they, they radiate. Is that a word? Yeah, close enough. They're radial roads from uh, Helsinki. 8, 9, and 10 are from uh, Turku, and then uh, 11, 12 are from Tempere, and 13, 14, and 15 would have originated around Viborg, which of course isn't in Finland anymore. Awkward, because bigger army diplomacy. Our little CGP gray there. And I, I know that Aland, because that is part of Finland, even though they speak exclusively Swedish, they also have their own road system. The two-digit secondary roads in Aland are blue. The ones in Finland are yellow. Confusingly enough, the four-digit uh, quartieri court roads? Secondary, tertiary, and quartieri? I don't remember what the word for fourth is. Anyway, the fourth level roads, those are also blue, but the four digits. Um, the four-digit roads drive from the three-digit roads, so 5516 will be close to 551. And they're generally from the south to the north. I mean, that's what we got. We've got three minutes, so let's let's just do it. I got the, we got the EU four main theme, just driving us along. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Damn it! All right, we're in a suburban area next to a high school field. It kind of looks like we are moving along to a circular road. I don't know why I'm giving you the uh, play by play with the descriptive text added. Mesela is our new city in seven kilometers. Um, Mat Kustaja Satama. I'm already screwed. So let's go into the town, see if we can get something going here by getting like to a downtown section. The only thing we can do is find roads. Why is it already two minutes and 30 seconds? How is it possible 30 seconds have already gone by? Ah! Okay, so we're fine. We're not fine. We're screwed. We're going to lose right here, but at least we'll know quickly. Oh my god, here we go. We're on a road to Tempere. We're between Tempere and Helsinki. The 140 and the 12 are nearby. They are not where we are, but we can so hopefully triangulate from there. Tempere um, is there, and Helsinki is there. So we're between the two of them. Where is the red 12? The red 12 is here. Where is the white 140? The white 140 is way south. Okay, so follow the 12. Follow the 12 south. Where'd the 12 go? There's the 12. 12 follows the 300s. Where the hell are the 100s? 12 dies? The 12 dies in Kovala? Uh oh, right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're we're fine. We're not we're not toasted yet. Tested, tasted, toasted. Dispossesses. Um, <laughs> twelve goes down through there. Three hundred roads. Two hundred roads. This is this is better. Where'd the twelve go? There it is. Two hundred roads. I have a minute and twenty six seconds. It ends in Rama. O M G. Is there a one forty in Rama? I don't know. It's gone. We're toast. We're done. Okay, well, that was fun, guys. It was nice playing with you. That was an enjoyable moment. The 24 Kiskusta. Kissing toast. The 24 is along the way as well. Where is the 24? Do, 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 do. 24 is a new road, actually. It used to only go to 23. I don't know where the 24 is. There's the 23. That used to be the end road. 47 seconds. Nope, we're dead. There's the 24. 24 and 12 is in Lati. There's the 140 as well. Oh my god. Go back to the start. What road is this? It's a curve road coming into coming south into a circle. Uh, that's that's the road name. Oh god. Don't blow this, buddy. You can you can recover. You can recover. Um, no, why are you blurry? It starts with a K. Karenian something street. There's let me let me see a circle. South into a circle with Karenian Street. There's the school. South into a circle. It's not the right school. Oh no, seven seconds. We're gonna be toasted. 
Toasted, tasted, tested, dispossesses. It's over. It's over. Goodbye. And it's done. We were way over there. Wow. Yeah, see? Soccer fields. Just find freaking soccer fields. He's got a check mark. It's awfully pretentious. All right, well, we missed by 17 points. And I know that in the last four guesses, um, he only missed four points total. So we're done. It was a nice run. Um, thank you so much for watching. Wait, no, <laughs> I'll finish the challenge, but obviously it's it's over at this point. So We only missed by 418 meters, but when your map is so small, there's not a lot you can do about that. We're in the north somewhere. Just from the trees, you can tell that. We'll come back. I went that far past the sign? Come on now. 387. It's not as far north as I thought. Heading to Valama. We're on the 387. 387 will be kind of mid country. There's 60. That's way too far north. <laughs> three seventy eight, of course, here's the three eighty seven. So we found the road we're on. Um we're on a turn off for I think I saw that without blurring that no, maybe not. There you go. Uh Va Lima is south of us and we're heading off to Ulvardi, maybe? There's Loman. Va Lima is there. So we're north of this, which is good because the 387 ends there. And um, actually, is this Il. Is this uh, Il. I think this might be right where we are, which means that we started right about here. Nope. Way too far north. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter. I mean, for God's sakes. It's fine. I had a weird odd moment where I thought that was like a bear just like just chilling out in the water. It's, it's a dude bending over. We're on a canal, perhaps? Like a notice board? we get off to the road, maybe? No? What the heck's going on here? This is a weird little image. Can you take me to the road, please? No. Alright. Let's go back to the start time. I, like, seriously, I'd like to just, just get up onto the road. I really want to be on the jogging trail. There we go. Alright. It's really kind of frustrating to know just how awful I am at this game. Which is kind of hilarious, because when you think about it, I'm not awful. It's just, I'm on a GeoGuessr subreddit, which, first off, if you're on a subreddit for anything, generally there's two types of people on the subreddit. There's Waldo. Uh, there's two... There's two types of people on the subreddit. Either you are incredibly dedicated to whatever it is, and so you're the ultimate nerd, geek dork, whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter what, what you want to call yourself. But you're the ultimate uh, sort of expert in the game or or topic, whatever it is. And so you're you're going to be really good. I mean, really good at whatever it is. So trivia about your your game or, or topic or like in the case of GeoGuessr, you're going to just be being knowing right where those are because you're very good with, with geography and all that stuff. And then there's the people that are just the lurkers that pretty much aren't going to comment, but are there because they enjoy learning about that stuff, but they're not the experts at it. They're not like the, oh my God, I'm just the best ever. You don't have many people in between, I feel like, on Reddit. Maybe you do, but they're even less vocal. I, I'm not sure. And somehow along the way, I'm in the middle. It's a big train station. 
the Rautatiasema Yarn Vuck Station. Um, so, you know, the fact that Sagittarius and and Nighty and Wardock is definitely up there. Killer Mapper is, is definitely one of the top players. That they're just unbelievable. So, like, when I play, I'm good. Like, I, having talked to a lot of my coworkers now that have seen some of these videos they may be watching right now, I, I don't know. Um, and then just some other random family members, people on the street and everything, I tell them what I do. And when I tell them that, like, yeah, I mean, routinely I get guess. Oh, I didn't. I completely lost the, the the timing. Oh well, it doesn't it doesn't matter at this point, right? So, so, so there you go. I'll, I'll have to explain that round though that I just completely forgot about the time limit. Um, <clears throat> so we're heading towards the five and the sixty three. We're probably in Helsinki again, actually. Um, well, the five doesn't originate in Helsinki though. The five originates off of the four. One, three, four, seven are now the ones that are in Helsinki. Six goes off. I feel like five is the 18. Or maybe seven is the 18. Well, the E63, right? So find the 63. It's sort of a miracle, miracle that Finland uses those. All right, so this is 63. I'm just picking up there. Maybe we're in Quopo. Quopio is just fun to say. Um, <clears throat> so, like... Assuming I don't blank the third round, any score I get on this map is probably better than 95% of the people that play this game. It's just that I'm entering tournaments with the top 5%. I mean, it's my own damn fault, obviously. We're heading south to the 5 and the 63. Lovely part of the country. But it can get a little frustrating. Not that I really want to, like, be relegated and just kick the crap out of people that, that aren't any good at this. Although a relegation league kind of sounds fun. Um, I just... I, I don't know. I shouldn't have been in this round in the first place. I just felt real good about it, and then... Things went, went awry. We're north of Kyopio, actually. By Kanga Slam! Not really. <clears throat> well, nine was never mentioned. I bet we're, like, south of it only because, like, we're... Like, in this area. Maybe. I don't know. We only have 50 seconds left to figure it out, anyway. Not that it matters. We've already lost. And slumpy. <sighs> North of Kajani, too. I suppose I could try and find where that is. There it is. So we're we're up in this business. We actually might be in Kajani, and that's the river I just crossed. So, like, we were on the 8807, maybe? There's no traffic circles that I'm coming to, though, so I'm not so sure. Maybe we're up in this business? Uh, excuse me? Okay, there you go. To be fair, I just, I'm not really paying much attention right now. Which is a shame, too, because, like, this challenge probably would be cool, and I could, I could do a little better if I put a little effort into it. But since after the first round, I already knew I missed. There was no effort to put into it, so. That's it's kind of sad. That's how my, my life goes a lot, actually. Um, not to toot my own horn, but beep beep, I was always in the gifted programs growing up because I'm pretty intelligent. I will admit to you that there are some things that I'm very stupid about. But stupidity and smarts have nothing to do with intelligence. Um, and so if I were ever put in a class where, like, it didn't matter or it was really easy, I just, I just didn't care. This happens a lot with, with really smart and intelligent people. And I mean, yes, two different categories there. Um, if it's in their wheelhouse, 
and it's just not challenging, they're just not going to care, and the grade's not going to matter, and so the grade's going to slip. Now, I would never let my grade slip because I was also a, a really geeky grade nerd. So, I always made sure to mostly get A's. Wow, thank you for taking me down this little suburban street. That's really helpful. And I really wanted to skip the main road and go down that other one. Let's just go back to the start. Um... Oh my god, what, is this just, you want to take me down side road street? Do you guys are like, what the hell? I guess I'll use the keyboard. Um, so, that's what's happening right now, basically, is what I'm telling you, is that I just don't care. So, the score is slipping. Especially since I blanked around. That's kind of embarrassing. But hopefully we still have an entertaining product to put on the, on the field. And that's where I think my strength as a GeoGuessr and, and really as a YouTuber uh, comes in, is that I, I do put an entertaining product onto the field. I hope so. I mean, you guys let me know, right? If you hate my product, for God's sake, say, Frog, you're, you're, you're a piece of garbage. I don't like what you're doing. I should probably at least click somewhere in Finland. Um, I, t I don't like what you're doing. Um, it's garbage, and you need to change. And now I would prefer you to be a little more constructive than that. Construction criticism is, is much better than just random, hey, you're awful. But any sort of criticism, theoretically, will help you get better. And I would like to be better at this. We're 29, 129 kilometers away from something that's very blurry. Um, from Oulu. Aulu? I don't know. I don't really know how to pronounce Finnish. I think about it. Um, I guess we'll go that way, because that sort of implies it's out of town. And... I just, I'd like to to get better, you know? I mean, we have 940, I think, subscribers. 60 more and we'll be YouTube partners again. But I'd like to think this is a friendly community where there's a lot of entertaining stuff going on and I needed about another 10 seconds and actually I probably could have gotten that. Not bad for a random just guess. There you go, 24,992 is just disgusting. I would have had about 18,000 had I not blanked the second round. can you do? Mm -hmm. Stuff to say because it's a blank. But if you take 7,000 kilometers out, let's say, let's say, well, let's go to that location. Let's go to the third, third round. It was in Helsinki. I, I'm sure if I was paying attention, I would have clicked in Helsinki somewhere. So I'm going to be less than 50 kilometers away. So you take away, let's say I'm within 27 kilometers. It's not like Helsinki is 50 kilometers wide. So I'm 208 kilometers out. It's an order of 10 from where he is because he was 186 meters the entire way. So there you go. That's that's the challenge. So I'm out of the uh, World Cup of GeoGuessr, which means Tuesdays are now wide open again to be doing other uh, Reddit challenges. I'm not sure what I'm going to play yet. Uh, feel free to leave some suggestions down below. Um, although, I may be recording next Tuesday. Nah, probably not before this goes live. So, yeah, go ahead and leave your suggestions down there, and we'll see what other ones we play. And we'll go from there. So, Verdock, very nicely done. Uh, 24,992 is an incredibly intimidating score at the first uh, get. I almost wish I hadn't known that. But, uh, anyway, um, uh, it would have gotten leaked, and, 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 you know, who knows. But... Uh, very well done that, and congratulations. I hope that you get the rest of the tournament, because any time that my team loses a tournament like myself, I hope whoever knocks me out wins it all. So, Wardock, I hope that it is your uh, future to win this entire World Cup of GeoGuessr in 2018. Everybody else, head on over to the GeoGuessr subreddit if you want to see more challenges and tournaments like this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.